Howdy, Wayo, Ross here, and Chris, and I'm excited because now we get to react to somebody I've been wanting to react to. The only presidential candidate that I know of ever singing, Tulsi Gabbard. I just think it's so freaking cool that there is someone running for president and we get to hear them sing. And it's a woman, so that's pretty cool too. You know how cool it would be if we could react to all of the presidential candidates yeah. singing? We, we, I don't know if we necessarily want to vote on who we want to be president by how they sing. But we could judge no. how they sing. Yeah, Tulsi's good, so she'd come out high, so that would be pretty good. Listen, well, I haven't even heard her, dude. She and her husband are singing Imagine by John Lennon, which I love, love, love that song. Here they are on the bus on the road, and they're singing Imagine. And so this is like such a perfect song to be singing to as a presidential candidate, if you can sing. Before we get into this, make sure you give this video a big like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Yeah. Thank you. So this one was posted one month ago, 300,000 views, 97% like, she's doing good. That's a pretty high like. That's pretty like. I just like Tulsi. Okay. I think she's honest. I believe her when she says what she does. Let's listen. Imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try I like the way she looks at him. Mm -hmm. It looks like true love. Yeah. And he looks at her too, but he's multitasking. She just kind of looks at him like, wow, you're so beautiful. This is fun. I really do love you. No hell below us It'd be cool if they were, they had a mic. Yeah. But I mean, they're in the car, so it's cool. And it's cool how you can actually see that the cars are moving in the background. Yeah. It's like a bus or a van yeah. or it's something. It's not really set up in. for like the best primal soundproofing. Yeah. But it's still cool. And like their voices fit together. Well. Yeah. It's chill. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's romantic. Chill. And like you say, she does look at him lovingly. Mm-hmm. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. So they sound good together, mm -hmm. at least in this song. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I wouldn't get it right like that. They and they both did it I think together in harmony and everything. It's the love though too. Like even if there were certain flaws, like I wouldn't hear it as much because the lyrics mean something to them yeah they're making the lyrics their own and like really embracing them and and this is such an appropriate song because you know even though she is active you know military you're part... going political well but the thing is it's like this is what she this particular song is like really what she stands for she's yeah, yeah. she's not for being in war needless wars and yeah, putting true, money into battles that we shouldn't be in but into the american people and here at home and and i totally agree with her for with that and that's basically what this song is about yeah in a way too he's got the same birthday as me okay but not he was not born the same day as you you are not john lennon the same day of the year though i should okay. say okay i hope someday you'll join us she's gorgeous man i know it and the world will live as one to me, one of the big things is she's not only pretty in appearance. She's got a nice heart. Mm -hmm. I saw her on Joe Rogan. I think all the politicians should go on Joe Rogan. You get to hear him in a longer format that's like an hour, two hours long, sometimes longer. And it's nice because it's not like a sound bite that you get to see two seconds of or two minutes of. So yeah, that's a good thing to link to below is Joe Rogan. And her. With, with her, yeah. So Bernie Sanders needs, needs to sing and we can react to him too. <laughs> yeah, Bernie go sing. <laughs> I have... There is a person who makes Trump sing stuff by auto-tuning it and uh. like editing it. <laughs> it sounds pretty bad. It sounds like a computer... It sounds like a computer Trump. Because it is? It is. <laughs> so here's a Hawaiian lullaby. This was from a year ago. See, I didn't even know she did this. Hawaiian yeah, lullaby. Hawaiian lullaby. Where I live There are rainbows With my 
So I, I can hear some pitch things, but I think it's good overall. I can't see you're like producing a hit record. Couples that sing together, they don't have to produce hit records. They're, it's just a, it's a cool bonding exercise or a good bonding thing to do together. It's an activity. They're walking. Yeah. They're walking, not just walking, they're walking up steps. Yeah. Trying to figure out where they're going in this hallway or wherever they are. Why did they and choose to, to do sing. that? I, I don't know. It seems like they're always moving. They don't ever like just <laughs> play music like in a room sitting without like being in a car or walking up the stairs. She's a political candidate. She's got places to go, things to do. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's proof. She just can't sit still. It's life in the laughter of the morning and stars. A little flat there. You got to consider every artist does that. And also they are walking. They're walking. That is tough. What? stair was this? Did you see how far they were coming up? <laughs> they just keep moving. They, they were, were like, like in the flipping basement of this building. This is like a are. cardio song, dude. <laughs> they're trying to be chill as they're doing cardio. Yeah, let's do this really relaxed song as and we're walk running up, up the 12 stairs. 12 flights of stairs. <laughs> they don't have a microphone. So the sound quality is not as good as it could be. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like a wedding thing. There's They had a Vedic wedding. That was four years ago. So they got married four years ago. 488,000 views, but I don't think that's got singing in it. I'm just gonna look at it just to see what okay. it is. This wedding's pretty, man. Oh, look at that setting. It's Hawaii. So this is different. Like during the ceremony, they're actually feeding each other. I wonder what they're eating, because I don't know what a Vedic wedding is. She's Hindu. They don't kiss. So that's something different in, in their weddings and in ours too. Maybe they're more private with every everything, maybe. We should definitely listen to her sing by herself. We Hare just... Krishna. We've done that. What? Oh yeah, when we were in Hawaii, we went to a Hare Krishna chant chant event thing. Yeah, yeah. Only done it once. Okay, so it's really hard to tell really the yeah. qualities to her voice because the sound recording is so poor. Yeah. But it it actually reminds me of my Christian church because the sound quality was really poor too. <laughs> you can go a little bit forward in it because I think the sound quality, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> it's worse. It's worse. Sound is worse. But it's not her fault. Ishkun 50th anniversary okay. gala event in Washington. I don't know what Ishkun is. Still, the sound recording on this one's not the greatest. We, like, seriously ended up at a chant, and it was overall a really positive experience. Yeah, yeah, I like the folks there. I mean, I don't know if it's my path, but I totally respect the path. But, no, there's a Christmas one up here, too. Where? Join us for a special Christmas song of peace and love. So this was back just three weeks ago. Well, this is the last one, for real. We are here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, just finished dinner and we're going to be headed to a Christmas Eve mass here shortly. You know, there's so much war in the world. Uh, there's so much talk of more war. We see headline after headline about North Korea saber rattling. And look, people here at home, there's so much struggling and, and suffering that's going on every single day. We just wanted to, to pause for a moment. We wanted to invite you to join us to sing this song about love and peace as on Christmas Eve, we celebrate the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. I'm confused. So I don't know if, if it's kind of like poly religion, if, if she's also- Christian? They, I mean, they're going to a mass. So it just seems like she's got her bases covered, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's listen to it. She's definitely making it to heaven. <laughs> I guess it, the more you believe, the more chances you have. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is 
is the night of our dear Savior's birth. I told you her voice reminded me of churches. <laughs> the people at church. A new and glorious morn. Here's the hard part. It's weird because they have times where it sounds really good yeah. and times where I'm like, I don't know about that. And in his name, all oppression shall cease. She got all that. Yeah, that was good. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus raise, we let all within us praise his holy name. You know how much better it would be if they were actually in like a controlled situation with like soundproofing and had a mic? So thanks for accommodating me. Yeah, I need to accommodate you all the time with your ideas. It's just so. part of the channel. This is our channel. Her and her husband singing Imagine. That was my favorite part for sure. I didn't even know Tulsi existed until 2016. I just love her. She's real. I just still like the fact that it's someone running for president of the United States, putting out videos and singing. Okay, so if like Joe Biden or Trump were singing in a video, would you react to them too? Yeah. Okay. It, if we can find some footage of that. <laughs> I'm a thinking it would be even scary. Send it to our fan email if there are any other politicians you want us to react to singing. We will judge their singing fairly. <laughs> Like this video, why Russ? And Chris. Love, Love you long time. time.